just ensuring that this is clean and all these turn plate bridges and turn plates are in here. I'm gonna put the front wheels on the turn plates there before I drive the truck up on the rag. He's good on this side, but how about that side? You're good on this side. How about this side? Check that side. Keep going, keep going. Stop. And now that we just pulled this on here, uh, I'm gonna chalk the rear wheels. Shane's got the other one. And I'm just gonna slide these in. Make sure they get a good bite in there. This thing is not going anywhere anytime soon. Alright, our next step in this process is going to be removing this here, uh, this uh, air intake hose, and then taking that shock bolt off, that top shock bolt off, and uh, then it's going to be this one. Specified tool for that is this is an 18, which fits on this side. But it just so happens that, crap, it just so happens that a 19 fits on this side. I'm going to do this side first. So what I need for this right now is a 19 millimeter socket and an impact. So, Go. Right. So we've got him clamping the shock down. I don't know how well you can see that. But he's clamping it down with vice grip. And I've got an extension with an impact here and an 18 millimeter impact socket. I'm gonna bunch this right off. Yep. And now we got it off. So our next thing that needs to come off is this bolt right here. Um, there's two more of these down here that hold this on and we're going to use a half inch ratchet with a 15 inch socket on it to get those off this is our last bracket bolt for the top half of this shock with a little bit of help and uh, determination we got the bracket out that holds all that so next we're going to start working on getting this shock out which are the same three bracket bolts that are 15 millimeters so we've got the bracket off with the three bolts now we got to raise this and get the lower shock bolt all right we got it to spin now There's our bolt. Yep, and there's your flag nut to keep it spinning and or stop it from spinning while you're trying to take it off. All right, all right so now all we got to do is pull that, that should, or that shock out. That should be at least all we have to do. Uh, there it is. Now we've got a whole shock. You can see why it was bad, uh, largely why it was bad. This top side was bad too. So we got the old shock out. Took a little bit. Yeah. We got ourselves an old shock. Time to put the new one in. So this is our brand new shock that we're going to drop in. And this is what it came with. So you got two, what looks to be, and I think they are identical bushings. So you got two identical bushings and two identical spacers here. And uh, you can't really see it because the way the bag is, but yeah, there you go. There's a nut for the top. So you're replacing pretty much all the hardware or really all the hardware for your top half. 
uh, with these. And both of these look exactly the same. Uh, there's that one there. So we're gonna drop this thing in here, run the bottom bolt through it, and uh, put the top on. So first thing we're gonna do before we even drop the shock down, put our retainer and um, our lower retainer and lower grommet on first. Make sure that's all the way down on there. It's nice and sealed. And then we can drop the shock in. Coming down to you with it. I'm blind, so just kind of guide me. Down. You're gonna have to grind this shock down a little bit because we measured it with the dial calipers and it's a little bit too big to fit in the hole we need it to fit in. So he's grinding it down right now. Deliberate with much deliberation, it still wouldn't fit. So we're gonna measure it in with the dial calipers here. 20. Nine? After cutting a lot of material off because this bracket is bent, we've got the bolt in. Well, we got the shock in and we got the bolt in. Now we got to work on the top. All right. We're dropping the new shock in. We were having a little bit of a clearance issue. See where it was hitting right there. So we need to take a little bit off with the grinder. I'm gonna have Shane film me and I'm gonna do that. All right, we got him working underneath, tightening that up. Because we got it lined up finally after cutting a bunch or grinding a bunch off, we got it lined up so now we can move along to the top bracket. That's what's going to be next. He's just tightening it up with a ratchet for now. When we get everything tight, we're going to come through with the torque wrench and torque on it. But before we put the bracket on, you got to make sure to put your, your retainer and your bushing in there first. it up on the inside, I'll go on the outside and line it up. Here's two. I can get the other one. Uh, oh, so that's that. I'll drop one. So now we have the inside. inside bolts in. We just gotta tighten those down. And he's cutting our uh... Alright, it was all hands on deck job, but we got these bolts in. We're just gonna tighten them down and then get the top nut on and when we get the top nut on we'll start turking stuff. I got my bolt in. 
She is. That's torch. Getting torqued to 55 foot pounds. 